The Asatiza Recognition Scheme, or ARS, currently recognizes 1,805 Asatizas, which is about 80% of those providing Islamic education in Singapore. It is an inclusive system that recognizes Asatizas from various schools of thought, so long as they meet the standards and training requirements set by the Asatiza Recognition Board, or ARB, which comprises senior Asatizas. In January 2015, the ARS was enhanced with the introduction of a further requirement for ARS Asatizas to attain ARS renewal every three years by completing 30 hours of training. This training requirement is part of a larger continuous professional education or CPE program for our Asatizas. The causes within the CPE program support the professional development of our Asatizas and help them update and help update them on contemporary issues and challenges related to the socio-religious life of our Malay Muslim community. Through this, our ARS Asatizas are better equipped to serve and retain the confidence of our community. MUIS, Pergas, and ARB have been working hand in hand to strengthen the ARS to ensure that our Asatizas have the appropriate qualification and training anchored in our multiracial and multi-religious context. So with the fact from 1st January 2017, all Asatizas who provide religious guidance and Islamic education will be required to be under the ARS. Muiz and Pergas will continue to reach out and offer additional training to those who do not yet qualify under the ARS to facilitate their registration. They will have one year to qualify, up to one year to qualify. The idea of having a mandatory ARS is not new. In fact, it was proposed by senior Asatizas more than a decade ago, but our focus at that time was on developing a suit of quality ARS programs to benefit our Asatizas. It is important that our Asatizas have recognized these benefits for themselves and see the value of the ARS. Now, with Asatiza Fraternity's strong support and the calls from community leaders for a mandatory ARS, the time is right to strengthen the ARS further. Madam, while other countries may have their own recognition systems, the AR ARB has been mindful to adapt and implement only what is relevant and compatible to our local context. The ARS does not consist only of Pergas alone. Rather, the ARS is a joint effort by MUIS, Pergas, and the ARB. The Administration of Muslim Law Act, or AMLA, already provides MUIS with broad powers, but we will provide for additional measures if necessary. MUIS, together with Pergas and ARB, will continue to engage the relevant stakeholders on the implementation of mandatory ARS, including our religious and community leaders, Malay Muslim organizations, and private Islamic education centers in the coming months. With their support, the ARS will continue to evolve to serve the needs of our community.